Hi folks, John Ruffle here. Great as usual to be with you. And I want to tell you a little bit of a funny story. Some of you know that um, I'm a little bit of a guitar collector. And um, so anyhow, I like to mess with them. I like to make a guitar better than it was when I got it. I don't think I've ever bought a brand new guitar in my life. And so anyway, I recently bought a uh, a celebrity ovation guitar, 30 year old guitar. And I was taking a bit of a risk because it played a little bit, it was a little bit hard to fret and so forth. And I figured the action was too high. So I needed to lower the action. So I've gone out and kitted myself out with enough tools to, to make an armory, not quite, but along those lines because and i was checking out youtube videos to see exactly the best way to lower the action i was checking um string height in in fouls of an inch and i was uh, checking to see if the um neck was um had um offset on it or whatever then what i did i figured well the strings are probably odd they look fairly new but it's been in the case for donkey's ears a 30 year old guitar so I let's take the old strings off because i'm going to need to put new strings on anyway and as i did for those of you who know about guitars on the guitar bridge these two shims just fell out and so i checked on the website um on, on the forums for these particular guitars and short lo and behold there's two little shims that come with the guitar from the factory. Now I'm telling you all this. I'm not, this is this is a spiritual. This is Sunday, so this is a spiritual message. It's not for just guitar freaks because there is a spiritual input to what I'm saying. By the way, I'll show you. We're going to do a special video about refurbishing this. But as you can see. And you can see the dirt on the neck where the strings have never been off. I've taken off the neck, the, the, the strings already. And underneath here, which I've taped on so the shims don't fall out until I've exactly measured them, there's two little shims there that raise up the saddle. And it means it raises the strings. And the higher the strings, the harder the guitar is to play. And ovations of beautiful guitars to play. So, what is the spiritual input of what I'm doing in this? Sorry, right, spiritual input. Sometimes we can spend years trying to live with the little niggly things that make our spiritual life so hard. Now, in this case, I know for a fact, because I know the history of this guitar, that it's 30 years old. It was bought as an engagement present. 30 years ago by this dear lady we bought it from and uh, they've been married for the last 30 years so praise god for that so obviously he's never taken all the strings off at once because if he had of he would have known there were shims because the shims would have fallen out so for 30 years he's been playing a guitar with hard action hard it's a hard road we have to haul Whereas he could have just simply, when he changed the strings, changed them all at once, the shims would have fallen out and he would have made that guitar twice the guitar that it was for 30 years. Now, in Jesus Christ, God gives us a new life when we just surrender all to him. You don't have to take one sin at a time and say, oh God, I'm such a dirty, rotten sinner. God, help me. Um, God wants to renew you from the inside out, all six strings in your life he wants to renew. When he does, he'll make the adjustment in your life. And you won't need all these tools and stuff that I've got. This is one of the tools I got. Fortunately, I was able to get it secondhand off Amazon, so it didn't cost me too much. Um, depth gauges, all sorts of things. I didn't need to get all that stuff, or well, useful though it is, because I could have just taken the strings off right away, just surrendered the old strings on the guitar, 
I could have surrendered the old strings in my life and allowed Jesus to give me a perfect setup for my life. So I hope you've not suffered for 30 years with fighting with all sorts of problems when you could have just come to the cross of Jesus, come to the cross and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for who I've been and who I am. My life has been lived for my own pleasure, for my own purposes, for my own vision, for my own goal. But now I turn, I believe, Lord Jesus, you died on that cross, bearing my sin, my failures, my high and mighty actions. You died for it all. And death couldn't hold you, Lord. You rose from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit from the Heavenly Father, the power of a new indestructible life. And you, Lord Jesus, are offering that life to me and to all you, whoever you are, wherever you are, watching this, listening to my voice, Jesus offers you his restrung life with perfect action so the Holy Spirit can be the player of the strings in your life. So the Holy Spirit has freedom to express himself in and through you, and you will be the expression of the love of Jesus Christ. So I trust God that you will use this little simple example of me and my madness about this guitar and set literally a revelation that just fell off the bridge of it and solved a massive problem that I thought was going to be tricky to do. Um, a very delicate operation. It could have actually uh, damaged the guitar and 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 not be able to get it to its optimum performance and all the time the makers the manufacturers had put two shims little pieces of plastic underneath the bridge underneath the saddle so that you could adjust it so easily now of course for some reason ovation don't tell you this when you buy the guitar when it's new you're left to find out and we are blessed because we have the instructor's manual in the bible and our god has given us all things that pertain to life and god and he's given us his precious words and his promises so we don't have to find out by trial and error you can come to jesus right now as you are and allow him to refurbish you, renew you, give you a new lease of life free from sin so that you can have an eternity with the Lord. Thanks so much for watching. May your life be sweet music in the ears and the life and the joy of Jesus Christ and all whom you love. Amen. John Ruffle for Coffee Time Talks this Sunday, 13th of June, 2021.